Hi everyone, let's have a look at a snag case. So we have a second order differential equation. Our dependent variable is y and your independent is x. It's equal to some function, which means it is a non-homogeneous or forced system differential equation. So your solution is made up of two parts, from your complementary function as well as your particular integral. So your equation can be written as thus using d operators and we start with finding our complementary function to find the complementary function we look at our auxiliary equation And find the roots of it and this you can either prime factorize or you can use your quadratic equation so that means that d is either 3 over 2 and d is minus 1 so your roots are real and different which means your complementary function is going to have this form Right. I'm going to just put this up. I'm going to park your complementary function in the corner because I'm going to come back to it a little later on. So let's have a look at how to find our particular integral. And to find our particular integral, what we are looking for is we are looking for some function so that if we find the first derivative and the second derivative and substitute into the equation, the equation has to balance, which means our left hand side has to equal to 5e to the 3 over 2x. So let's choose a trial function for ypi and because this has to simplify down to 5e to the 3 over 2x I'm going to choose some function but with this as part of it so e c e 3 over 2x I'm going to choose it to be that so then my first derivative is going to be that and my second derivative is going to be 9 over 4 CE 3 over 2 X. So when I substitute, I'm going to substitute and we get 2 over 4 C. Minus three. Let's make that five a bit better. All right? And what you're going to find when you simplify your left hand side, you're going to find that it's going to be zero equals five e to the three over two x and that is not possible that's not possible which means that the tau function that you've chosen is not the correct one now if you look at what your trial function you've chosen here and you look at the complementary function you will see that the form of the trial function you've chosen is the same as the first term in your complementary function 
So the letters don't really matter. They're just placeholders because you don't know what those values are. But the form, both have an exponential to the power 3 over 2x. So that power is the same, so it means that the form of those two terms are the same. So you cannot use this prowl function here. You're going to have to use something else. So, let's see, what do we do? So I'm going to change the form of this. You see, if you have, so you have this trial function. If you add another term, it doesn't change the fact that that first term is still there. So you have to change this form entirely. And the way we do that is we introduce an x an independent variable into the the trial function right so now what you've got when you find the derivatives is you've got a product so you have to use your product rule for differentiation so we get over to x Right, and then the second derivative is going to be 3 over 2 C E and then And that is going to be 3 plus 3 60, sorry. Okay, and now we're going to take these values and substitute into this equation. So, I just need a bit more space here, so I'm going to substitute into d squared y p i d y p i right and we get two So let's simplify this. We get Okay, so now we want to look at all of our like terms. So our like terms here are going to be all of the ones with just e to the 3x, 3 over 2x. So it's that one, that one. Those are like. And then we've got this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so we'll have... 6c minus c, so that's 5, right? And then we add 9 over 2 minus 3 over 2 minus 3, and that is going to add up to 0. So this term actually falls away. 
and that's going to equal, which means that C in this case has to be 1. That means our particular integral is just going to be x e 3 over 2 x. And our final answer which is made up again of the complementary function as well as the particular integral is going to be nice And that is the general solution for the original differential equation.